take responsibility for everything in your life. Though in the moment, you can change anything in your life. Now I'm inviting the opponents to come on the stage. School captain, Master Dinesh Kumar and Ms. Kundati Kumari.
fresh air and forward and repeat after me. In the name of God, I do solemnly affirm that I shall carry out the responsibility to the appointment vested in me to the best of my ability. I undertake to abide by the rules and regulations of the school and pledge implicit obedience to my superiors. I shall always be loyal to my country, the school and the fellow students and strive to keep up the best traditions of the school and bring glory to my alma mater. Miss Sonia Sharma, Miss Swati Kumari, Miss Aasta Bhadwaj, Miss Krishna Kose, Miss Sachi Singh.
I would must mention the name of Master Dinesh and Miss Unnati, who have been picked up as school captain for boys group and school captain for girls group. Master Dinesh was the vice captain in the previous session, and Miss Unnati was a prefect, if I'm not wrong. But then, in this session, they were picked up as a favorite name by the teachers, by the PTI, and by the people involved in making the selection. Because of only one reason, that they must have shown those skills which convinced the people involved in making selection that they would be the suitable name. In the same way, if I talk about class 10 students who have been given the responsibilities to down the badges for different positions like head prefect and others. In the previous session, they were found showing their involvement in the task assigned and the commitment. So that simply means that your personality development is not only about your academic excellence, but it's more about your overall performance demonstrating your life skills in the form of the reflection in your habits and the way you present yourself to the teachers in the campus and others in the campus. My students, when you have been given this responsibility to become the members of Students' Council, you need to understand that you are the competent team to identify the challenges which are there in the school and you need to sit together and give your contribution, play your own role, but how the school can overcome those challenges. A leader is the one, as I said, who overcomes the habit of thinking of oneself. It means that you have to keep your classmates above you. You have to keep your school above you. You have to come out of selflessness. You have to show empathy. You have to, you have to be caring with others. As I said that a leader is the one who motivates others. It's not the one who dominates others. It means that when you are there in different nook and corner of the school, now your responsibility becomes greater. You have to ensure that you become an example for the other students studying in this school. As I told you, that now students council members need to identify challenges and see that how the school can overcome those challenges. I would make a request to the coordinators present here that if we all can sit together and plan that there should be one day in a month where the students council member can be given an opportunity to sit together and have a meeting so that they can produce their plan and their ideas to take the school further to the next height. Because it's, it's not only about having the badge, it's about showing your connection to the school. It has, it has not been many days when the whole country became the part of Har Ghar Miranga campaign. Did you, did you ever think about it that why our honorable Prime Minister launched this campaign? Was the Indians not patriotic earlier? Did we have our connection with the country earlier? This particular campaign was launched so that there can be a mission all over the country where the people of the country can show their connection to the nation. So in the same way, all the students council members need to find out the ways to show their connection to the school. And that is possible only when you have a common cause to identify the challenges to make this school more popular, to take this school to the next height, 
then only this is going to be possible. Going to be possible that you identify the challenges and then you work for the solution of these challenges. And for that, you all need to sit together once in a month, think of the ways to overcome all those challenges, produce the plan, get approval, and implement it. Being the members of the students' council now, you have aspirations on your shoulder, aspirations of your teachers, aspirations of the students getting education in school. Because my day, as I said, that with power comes responsibility. We have a palm tree also and we have a banyan tree also. And you all need to understand the difference between a banyan tree and a palm tree. A palm tree has got greater height in comparison to banyan tree, but we give more value to banyan tree. Reason is obvious. So it's not about the big names only. It's more about your qualities that you reflect through your personality. That you become a palm tree or you become a banyan tree. So it is about saying, being a leader is about saying. When you move around the campus, donning the badge, you need to have that feeling with you that others will look up to you. You have to become a role model. It's not there that only a teacher is a role model. A student is also a role model for others. And it's not there that you become a role model only by giving your performance in academic areas. You become a role model by becoming a good human being also. So, you all prefects have to understand the responsibility of this badge and shash presented to you so that in the months to come, we get this, we take this school to a greater height. It is said that when you, when you dream it, you believe it, then you achieve it. So, from here, you don't have to stop thinking. You have to start thinking. You have to look up to look up to the teachers around you. You have to look up to your role models who can guide you to translate your vision into action. You all students have got enough capability to have your own vision. You have you need to have your own vision and translate it into action. For that, I must say that you all are blessed to be surrounded with the people like your coordinator, coordinator sirs and I would say that Amit Das sir and Jaiswal sir in consultation with the coordinators have done a superb job by making the kind of selection that is there in front of us today and I believe that this Prince Council will be an example for the students studying in this school. So finally, I would like to wind up my blessings to all of you with a lot of wishes and a lot of successful days ahead. Thank you and congratulations. For the of the CC coordinator that deserves appreciation, please give a huge round of applause again. Special appreciation goes to the students because they have demonstrated the kind of performance with a very little training and in short notice. So that was a very professional approach and sincere approach towards the task assigned. Mr. Abhijit Anand has been very much instrumental in arranging the complete show. Without the involvement, active involvement of Mr. Abhijit Anand and Mr. Abhijit Das, this particular occasion was not happening possible. So please give them a huge applause. One morning to one and all, Mr. Kex, you sir, one later sir, teachers, and my dear friends. Let me first take this opportunity to thank the school management on behalf of all the newly appointed defects, house captain, postal captain, to choose a school is the responsibility of the school. Sir, we assure you that as per the appointment, on the we will be at our place. I would like to thank our pediatric chair, Amita Sir, Head Officer, Abhijit 